Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. This is the Cotswolds vlogs. Number um, one. Number one. By yesterday, Sunday, today is Monday. I thought I'd do this vlog a little bit different because I normally show like um, us travelling from home to destination or whatever. But I thought I'd actually start this one actually here. In the Cotswolds. In the Cotswolds. So it is Monday. We are here for a whole week. So we are here till um, Sunday morning now. Um, the weather is really nice. It's only really, on Thursday it's going to rain. Yeah, it's only going to rain on Thursday. It's really mild and um, sunny, so we've got really good weather. So as you can probably tell behind me, we are staying in a very, very old cottage. The Tudor. It's even older than I um, thought. It's a Tudor. It's, it's Tudor. It's over 500 years old. It's a grade two listed building. Very, very quirky as you would expect for a property so old. So I will do a mini cottage tour in a second before we head out. Right. So today's plan is Sir and Sester, which is known as the capital of the Cotswolds. It's basically the main town. It's like the main town of the Cotswolds. So um, la a larger town, a bit busier, but we're gonna we're gonna take a look round there. Before we do, um, I will show you we're actually staying in a place called Burford, which is known as the gateway to the Cotswolds. So it's like probably one of the like first villages that you come to as you like enter the Cotswolds. What is like very quiet. What's very quiet. And we are staying literally just behind. We just go through a little alleyway we're in the high street and the high street is beautiful it's it's literally on a hill a hill it's literally a hill and it i will show you um atticus is just gonna have some pastries i'm gonna have a coffee i need to explain something then we to are you. gonna head out and i will show you the high street of burford before we head to sear and Sesters. so i hope you enjoy the cotswolds vlogs um exploring the cotswolds with us it's our first time so everything's new to us i will do you a mini cottage tour so we are staying in this gorgeous um it's gorgeous like it's basically a little alleyway full of just old cottages it's so nice so this is ours here um and literally the There's alleyway the to the high street is through Should there I take to look at it? yeah not right now when we go out at kiss so i'll do you a little tour Come through here um ahead of you is the kitchen which is literally it's got everything you need your fridge down there you've got your cooker um all your amenities down here there's even there's even a washing machine there if you need to do some washing we've got all the snacks these were here waiting for us when we got here border biscuits my favorite come back out the kitchen this is so cool i mean this is a real feature look at this uh, yeah. this mirror looks literally looks like it belongs in like a, a church then we go through here and we've got um a little living room so um we've got this table here um then over here we've got the log burner so we did a fire last night didn't we atticus it was lovely it was really nice so i've got to buy a bit more wood i've got plenty of kindling i've got to buy some more um wood for it and obviously we've got a telly there and then we've got a little sofa over there i'll show you upstairs quickly so we go up here it's so rickety it's really cool it's a lot older than I expected. I knew it would be an old cottage, but um, so we've got like a landing here. Um, there we go through here's the bathroom. Bathroom's really nice, and then this floor it's so slopey. Um, so yeah, got everything we need. Quite a nice shower. Then through here, I love this. This is probably my favourite room. Look. Just look at this. Look at this. It's a wonky look. Thing. It's so wonky. The floor's so wonky. But just look at this fireplace. Look, it's just. So we've got this wood thing. There's my little dressing table. What I've made up there while we're here. And we've got. And around here we've got all the beeps. Look. And then we've got this wood thing. Look, there's us. So we are out now. We had breakfast in the cottage this morning. Atticus had his two pan of chocolates, chocolates, two pan of chocolates and milk. three cups of milk. Three cups of milk. I had um, sourdough crumpets, which we got from like the local co-op here last night and a bit of a, just walking through this little alleyway to the high street for the cottage. Um, yeah, sourdough crumpets, they were yummy. So I'm gonna turn you around and show you Burford High Street. That's the little alleyway where the cottage, where we're staying up there. And then we come through here and look. So it's literally one 
long hill. It is so cute. There's so many, so many pubs. We went to a lovely pub. We went to the Cotswold Arms last night, dinner. That was nice. There's so many pubs to eat. Really quirky little shops. That's the top, that's the top of the hill. Um, we're gonna have a little walk down here. It's incredible. This statue, the Last Supper statue, obviously Jesus and the disciples. And I didn't realise till I got up really close. It's made of, look, keyboard buttons. Wow, that's incredible. What do you think? Look. We are back in the car and that was Sir and Sister. That was really pretty. We're heading now to Stow on the Wall. Currently it's England's oldest inn. 947 AD. This is gonna be interesting. It's almost six o'clock. Um, we need some food. I really need a cup Dave's of tea. School, <laughs> We're outside the school, Sir David's school. So we are going to head back to our base, which obviously is Burford, and get something to eat at one of the pubs there. It's going to be a wrap for today. Um, and I will see you tomorrow, tomorrow which is Tuesday. <laughs> It is Tuesday morning, actually almost lunchtime. So we are on our way to um, Castle Coombe, which is known as the prettiest village in England. Um, it's a very small village, there's not a lot there, but it has to be seen. Um, we've seen it on YouTube and we're also gonna go on the up telly and that. Coombe. And we're also going to go up a Castle Coombe. It's it looks so I pretty. Say. Yeah, but we have stopped off at a pub which is about quarter to 12 now. We're about and just three open till miles 12. away from Castle Coombe. Yeah, we're not far at all. But we need the toilet, we need a drink, I'm and we're get getting some, a bit hungry. I'm going to get some food. Atticus wants to get some food, I'm, I'm getting a bit hungry I'm now. I, the fish and chips here are so addictive, I'm guessing them. <laughs> they're addictive fish and chips, everywhere, you? they're addictive everywhere, but... Yeah. So Do you know what? Last night we went to a pub called The Pheasant in Burford, Burford right near where we're staying and I had 
the most. It is up there with one of my favourite meals of all time. I had a homemade chicken and mushroom, a creamy white wine sauce pie, yes, with mash and gravy. It was elite. So good in fact, so filling that I haven't eaten since then. And but now I'm starting to get a little bit. I've only had a panda chocolate. You've had morning. two panda chocolates, haven't you? Yeah. And probably about a pint of milk. Yeah. Um I know at Castle Coombe, I'm sure there's a little like tea room where hopefully I'll be able to get a cream tea. I really want a cream tea today. Um, but we do need the toilet and we need the drink and that. So it's about another 10 minutes now till this pub opens. I'm not sure the name of this little village, what we're in. Can you remember what it was called, Atticus? No. No, I can't remember. But I'm excited to show you Castle Coombe. It is, it's going to be beautiful. So yeah, we're going to get some food, toilet, a drink here and head to Castle Coombe. Sitting outside the pub, we've ordered our food, haven't we, Atticus? Yeah. Chips. Chippies, bread and butter. I'm having um, thick chips. Thick chips, and I've gone for a cheese and pickle sandwich with salad and crisps, something a bit lighter. This is a really pretty place. The sun is beaming. Look. I didn't bring any sunglasses with me, but I really needed to. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to stop on the way back, aren't we? Yeah. We're going to stop on this village on the way back to the church and that's So quiet, so quiet. Okay, so we have arrived in Castle Coombe. Just look at this village. The prettiest village in England, apparently. Look. Can you sit there in the sun? Yeah. I know. like where Prince Charles is, um, house, Holy Grove House, so my home, I think is in this area. Um, so we've come here, I need to buy some wood for the fire at the cottage because we are out of wood now, we've made two fires and we've used all the wood up. Um, Mama, so I need, need to stock up on wood, I need to stock up on wood for the fire so we can light fires for the rest of the time we're here. And I've just ordered my first cream tea, so it's something, well, a scone Afternoon with tea. cream, butter, jam, all of that and a coffee. Because I'm desperately need coffee. coffee. I haven't had a coffee since I left the cottage this morning. Yeah, who um, even am I? Because I remember when I was a little girl, I used to love the royal family like Atticus does now. And um, we actually have relatives um, in this area. And when we used to come and visit them when I was a little girl, I'd always say to like my mum and dad in the front, oh, are we nearly at High Grove House yet? Are we nearly going to pass? Because I used to love seeing like the top of, you, could, you used to be able to see the top of the house from the main road. We are back. We've been back quite a while, actually. It's about eight o'clock, 
um thought tonight we'd have a bit of a chill one um Atticus is going to do some reading um I might do a bit of work and yeah just have a nice chill because we've had a whole day of exploring again as you would have seen um Castle Coombe wow um just imagining having a little cottage in Castle Coombe well, the, the prettiest village in England. Um, if you've been, you'll know exactly what I mean. Absolutely breathtaking. And of course as well, because the sun has been out all day, which you would have seen in the footage, that makes everything look prettier anyway. We've been so lucky with the weather this week. Um, then you would have seen we went to Tetbury, which we didn't actually plan to do that today. Um, we did plan to do, I think it's called Bybury, Beebury. Bybury, um, but we're going to do that tomorrow. So we ended up going to Tetbury, which was lovely. That was really nice. So obviously, that's the little town um, where Highgrove House is, King Charles's house. As you would have seen, I had um, a cream tea, my first one since I've been here. Wow, the stone was warm. Everything, it was just amazing, as you would have seen. Um, that was really nice there. Then we went to Tesco to buy some um, wood for the fire. So stocked up on the wood for the fire. And yeah, we're gonna have a chill one. How cute is this kitchen? Honestly, this cottage, it is like, it, this cottage reminds me of the cottage me and Anna used to live in, um, obviously before Atticus was born. Um, and it, 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 it is just like how it was. Um, it's amazing, it's lovely. Um, really, really enjoying it. So the plan is tomorrow, Borton on the Water, which everyone has messaged me telling me how pretty it is. And they've even got a model village there, which we will be going to. Um, and then obviously we're going to the very small village, Bybury. Bur no, it's Bybury. Not, not Bybury. It's Bybury. Bybury, and where, the, interesting fact, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in the vlog, in, I can't remember. So in our part, in the British, in the United Kingdom passport, if you have one, you'll know, um, there's these pictures of these houses. If you turn to the first page of your British passport, you will see that there's a there's a, like a picture of a row of cottages, and these cottages are actually in this village what I'm talking about, which obviously I will show in the vlog and, tomorrow. And um, we're going to also go Little Barrenden and Great Barrenden. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Then um, yeah, so obviously that will be in this vlog because this vlog, vlog number one will be Monday, today and tomorrow. Then vlog number two will be Thursday, Thursday Friday, Friday Sat and Saturday. Well, that's Sunday when we travel home. No. Um, so, yeah, we will see you tomorrow. tomorrow morning, which will be Wednesday morning. So, bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. everybody it is Wednesday so we are all Atticus says good morning we are almost halfway through our holiday and this is the last day of this vlog of vlog number one then tomorrow Thursday will be the start of vlog number two so it's about half past ten um, we are in Burford High Street where we're staying I've got a coffee this has got an ice cream, a very early ice cream in the day, but hey, we're on holiday. Um, yeah, so a little bit of rain today, a little bit of rain, a little bit of drizzle, which isn't great, but as long as it stays at drizzle, that's fine. Um, so today's plan, we are going to, the first place is, now let me get the name, Bybury, Bybury. It's Bybury, it's the place where, um, it, I think I mentioned it yesterday, when if you look on the first page of your British passport, you'll see them growing cottages. We're gonna go there and obviously see them in real life. Then we're gonna to go to Morton on the Water, which is meant to be lovely, then we've got a village. So that is the plan for today. Oh yeah, time. there's one more place. Two more places, they're about a minute away from each other. Yeah, go on, Atticus. 
great Barrington and Little Barrington. I've looked at them. I looked at them when we were driving here, they look beautiful. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's the plan for today. I think we'll go to a pub tonight for dinner. Um, so yeah, let's start Wednesday in the pub tonight. in Bybury. Such a cute place. Look. And they have a gift shop. I used to love a gift shop when I was younger. After the village, obviously, you know, so many tourists. And then the houses that are on the front page of the passport they're sort of over there which we will walk to in a minute yeah should we go to the gift shop really raining the rain's really coming down now but that's fine we have wallets we have raincoats on don't we ask us yeah. it's fine so we're gonna go and look at arlington row now you can see the row of houses directly in front um this is how i imagine vibes to be quite cloudy yeah yeah but we've been really lucky with the weather so There's far. There's a lovely stream. So, you know, we can't mind. But yeah, I'll turn you around and show you. Here they are. This is called Arlington Row. The famous row of cottages. Get out your passport. Which Look at the first cool. page. Oh, look at this little bridge. Look at this stream. Oh, that noise. Listen to the noise. That's because come into here. Listen to the noise. This is the row of houses. What is it? Arlington Row. Yeah, look. Imagine living in one of them. I just said though, if I lived in one of them, yeah, amazing. But I'd get really fed up. Oh, I would get so fed up. With it. But no, of course you can't. Of course you can't. How amazing! I wonder why they chose this. Because of all the cottages there Warming up in the car before we move on to the next village. Look at this cappuccino. How cute. Look, it's a little heart. They all may not know, it's a tradition. Every place we visit, um, Atticus gets a bear with that place on. When we get home in one of Mummy's vlogs, I'll show you all the bears. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so we found one at last. It says, this is obviously the brand we got it from. Yeah. And then Bur Bur Bybury. Bybury. Then it says the Cotswolds, Cotswolds. 2022. Yeah. But it says 2022. Oh, it says 2022. Never mind. Never mind. I think you got the last one. It was just the last one sitting off the shelf, weren't it, Atticus? Yeah. Yeah. Pleased with it. I brought my other bear out today. You brought your other bear, well, haven't you? Me. Yeah. I have to go to Great Barrendon. I think that's what it's called. I'm going to look on my phone. Yeah, it's Great Barrendon and Little Barrendon. Then we're going to go to, so what is it called? On the Water? So on, Borton on the Water. Borton on the Water, then we're going to go to. So yeah. It's much later in the day now. It is getting on for four o'clock. Um, you would have seen us at um, Bilbury, which was amazing. Then that was so popped, nice. Then we popped to Great Barrendon and Little Barrendon. Yeah, then we popped. I didn't get that on the vlog. Um, because it was just residential houses there. There was not bit. really a lot there, but gorgeous houses in the Cotswold. So many gorgeous houses. Um, so yeah, that was Great Barrington and Little Barrington. And now we're at Borton on the Water. So many of you messaged me to say you must go to Borton on the Water. Um, we drove through before I parked. It looks so pretty. 
and there's a model village as well so we're going to head to the model village straight away and then walk around um, the towns Village in a model village, and that is a model village in a model village. Oh, yeah, it's a model village in a model village. Oh, that's lovely. So, this is the high street, and obviously, how it really looks. You'll see it, I'll show you this in real life. so cool because the whole of the model village is everything is in apart from the church that is over there is in its precise location of what the village actually is yeah if they put um the church over there in its precise location they'd have to move it right behind the back wall so but the whole of the rest of the village is in its exact replication as what it is in the village we're standing in so yeah we're in the real village and if you look this row here is actually the same as the modern village so look you've got the victorian christmas shop ms mms stationery and the post office we've just bought some duck food from the shop atticus is feeding the ducks oh he likes that atticus he's just come up i think he's hungry this one oh he's loving that this is a little bit like the Cotswolds Venice, isn't it? I'd call this. Yeah. Co Venice of the Cotswolds, I'd call this. vlog number one of the Cotswolds and coming soon will be vlog number two which will be tomorrow, Friday and Saturday.